Hello, welcome everyone to the last of our um, Rural Center Seminar Series for the year. So we've been very excited to have a great following of people and we're wrapping it up today with a good following. We've got a group of people here in, in the room with us and lots of folks out there. So hello everyone. Um, I'm very, very pleased to welcome and to introduce uh, Dr. Rob Greenwood from the Leslie Harris Center of Regional Policy and Development at Memorial University. I'm just gonna do a short introduction. Um, Rob is the founding director of the Leslie Harris Center. Um, he's currently serving as the acting director of Memorial's International Center, and he's cross-appointed with the university's Faculty of Business Administration. Uh, Rob's op uh, operated his own consulting business, and he served as a director and assistant uh, deputy minister of policy and economic development departments in Newfoundland and Labrador and Saskatchewan. And he holds a PhD in industrial and business studies from the University of Warwick in England. Um, and he's very, very busy. These are just a small listing of the things that he's involved in, and I'm sure he's going to talk lots about that. And so without further ado, please welcome Dr. Rob Greenwood. Thank you, Deetra. And hi, folks. It's great to be here. And uh, it's ironic. I have some colleagues, I think, back at Memorial involved in this and uh, some colleagues elsewhere in Canada. So uh, really uh, hope to get through the material fairly quickly and have lots of opportunity for Q&A. So I'm gonna dive right into it. Uh, when I was asked to do this presentation, um, there are any number of topics I've worked on in rural development and regional development. Although most of my work ever since my PhD, which compared Newfoundland and Northern Norway, was on how you decentralize economic decision making and how uh, you uh, can build capacity in organizations at the sub-provincial, sub-national level in Canada, sub-provincial matters, because the federal system, Norway, it's unitary. And uh, so I'm gonna jump right into the, oh, I need to load up. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. Now we're in business. And are people on the screen okay? Because do we need to put it on PowerPoint so we lose the toolbar at the top? Uh, oh, okay. Well, I'm good. Uh, first, uh, what I'm going to cover in this presentation, I can't present, as Dietra mentioned, without telling you a little bit about the Harris Center at Memorial, my day job. Then I'll tell you what problem I think I'm dealing with here. And as they try to teach you uh, in undergrad, in a paper, tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, tell them what you told them. So I'm not going to keep any secrets to the end. I'm going to have an opening slide, a couple of slides that tell you what I, I think is the problem of what we should do about it. Then I'll talk about a couple of research projects I've been involved with nationally and in particular the Newfoundland Labrador aspects over the last three or four years that uh, are drawing on and existing research but also shedding some new light. And uh, I've learned a few things that uh, I hadn't thought of before on this stuff. So I want to share that with you. And then I'll give you some, some concluding thoughts. I have spent most of my career in government uh, with a crown corporation, but always straddling with the university, uh, although I've been at the Harris Center now for six years. Um, so I'm always interested in theory, but I'm always interested in theory as it relates to practice. There's nothing, as, I'm not sure who coined this phrase, I didn't, but there's nothing so practical as a good theory. All it is an explanation of causation, why stuff happens. And uh, so I'm trying always to uh, influence policy and practice with good research and, uh, and good theory. Uh, which relates to the Harris Center mandate. We're established in October 2004, coordinate and facilitate the university's activities in regional policy and development. Hi. A new member joining us here in the room here in Halifax. Uh, the Harris Center, we think, is unique in the way it's structured. Uh, there are lots of centers out there for rural development, regional development, and all kinds of different aspects. Uh, some are actually think tanks that do research. The Harris Center is very much a broker, facilitator, catalyst that cuts across the whole university. I report to the Vice President Research and the Vice President Academic. So we work with medicine, business, arts, science, marine institute, you name it. Uh, we relate to teaching, research, and outreach. We work with faculty, students, and staff. 
And one thing that wasn't anticipated that much when we started was this emerging role of honest broker. Uh, in a small province especially, and I don't think Nova Scotia is much different, uh, there are very powerful politicians, very prominent business and labor leaders, and a lot of people who often are afraid to speak up, uh, especially in an organizational role that could be influenced by their decisions. The university really does have an important role uh, with the integrity and independence of faculty especially to uh, do good work and inform policy and practice. And the Harris Center increasingly is asked by different organizations to play a moderator, facilitator role. And uh, that's, uh, we think, also an important addition that the university can provide. We're, we're pretty small. There's only about eight staff. But Memorial is the biggest university uh, in Atlantic Canada. Uh, we have 900-odd uh, faculty, 2,700 graduate students. So our job is not to be the ones providing the service to the community. It's to be packaging, facilitating, enabling faculty, staff, and students to connect to the needs of Newfoundland and Labrador. And we're always happy to share across Canada and internationally. We do it in a lot of ways, and I could spend all day on this slide, but very quickly, we help organize public presentations along the lines of this one here. Delighted to be here with the Rural Center, and uh, I think they're doing a great job in their role, and happy for the Harris Center. I'm actually on their board and happy to partner. Uh, we do invitation-only sessions where it's off the record, no media, uh, often with decision makers from government or industry or community, uh, so that people can open up and have in-camera discussions on important issues. Uh, we have targeted research funding in a number of areas. We have our own applied research fund uh, supported by the federal government and provincial government. We've had five years of that now. It's only 100,000 a year. It's a call for proposals at Memorial, Memorial maximum of 15,000 per project. But every year, we're funding seven or eight projects, which in turn leverage a whole bunch more money. And it's unleashing faculty and students at Memorial on topics that are really of importance to the, uh, to the province. You can look at our website and see all that stuff. Uh, we work with graduate students on knowledge exchange projects. and We've had a knowledge exchange program. Uh, we take existing research and package it to meet needs. Often it's packaging expertise, getting the right people in the room together. You don't really need to do research often. It's getting that information sharing in a, a, a comfortable environment. Uh, we do regional workshops for a year. Uh, last year, we got uh, support from uh, Royal Bank of Canada under their Blue Water campaign, $800,000 over 10 years. So it's not a lot each year, but it's from the private sector, so you can leverage it. And uh, we do uh, one workshop a year in Labrador, one in western Newfoundland, one central, one eastern. We were in Nain, Labrador last week, as far north as you can go in Atlantic Canada, partnering with the Nunatsiavut government. We had uh, 16 faculty and staff from Memorial uh, from across a range of disciplines. The Dean of Medicine was there. The head of the music school was there. The head of the Genesis Group Technology Commercialization was there. And several faculty doing work in different disciplines. And the, uh, the Nazi of government had their membership and community reps out. So we probably had 40 or 50 people in the room for a day and a half uh, looking at what is Memorial currently doing in that region. And when we do that, we come up with, we nag the hell out of everybody at Memorial to find out. 67 current projects by Memorial in that northern Labrador region. And that's not necessarily comprehensive. That's the ones we could find out about. In the afternoon in those workshops, we ask, what else could Memorial be doing? We're not a consulting firm. Can't guarantee we can make anybody do anything. But when you look at 67 current projects, there's a lot of people interested in partnering on a range of topics. And our job is to be the broker putting all that together. Uh, we also have the capacity to respond to anybody saying, is there anybody at Memorial who'd like to work on X? And we get them to fill in a one-pager. And if you haven't been on it yet, you need to go to yaffle.ca. And uh, we have a process with Yaffle where you can uh, plug in a topic you're interested in and find out who at Memorial is doing work on blue mussels. 